Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about edit subcategories. So let's see how can we edit subcategories. So switch to the project and uh, first of all, let's open the web.php file. So just go inside the routes directory, then open web.php file. And inside this file, uh, just go inside the admin middleware route group and uh, you can see here this is the route for the edit category okay inside this route let's add here one more optional parameter okay so after just after this just write here forward slash and uh, parameter uh, parameter name is is category slug subcategory slug okay is category underscore slug and uh, for creating the optional parameter just write here question mark okay now save this file now let's open the admin edit category component class file okay so just go inside the app directory then mm -hmm. http live wire admin and uh, from here let's open this one admin edit category component.php file okay and inside this class file uh, let's create two property here first is public dollar uh, S category ID is category underscore ID and another property which is S category slug. All right, and now inside the uh, mount method here, let's write here another argument which is S category slug. Okay, and uh, also add here equal to null because s category underscore slug is a optional parameter okay inside this route now uh, inside this first check here if dollar s category slug is not null then let's write here dollar s category dollar this arrow is category slug is equal to dollar is category slug okay now uh, fetch subcategory according to this slug so for that is right here dollar is category is equal to subcategory colon colon where slug is equal to this one dollar is category slug okay then call here first method now assign the s category id so right here dollar this arrow is category id is equal to dollar is category arrow id okay now uh, inside the category id dollar this arrow category id is equal to dollar s category arrow category id category underscore id okay now dollar this arrow name is equal to dollar s category arrow name then slug dollar this arrow slug is equal to dollar s category arrow slug all right now uh, after this just add here if s category slug is uh, null then uh, not null then execute this uh, this group this code okay otherwise inside the else part else part just execute this line of codes okay so just cut this and paste inside this else part all right now inside the render method let's fetch here all the categories so right here dollar categories 
at degrees is equal to model name category colon colon all and now just return this as uh, categories to the view file so right here comma then big bracket categories arrow dollar categories all right now go to the view file admin edit category component view file so just go inside the resources directory uh, resources views livewire admin and uh, from here let's open this one admin edit category component dot plate dot php file and inside this file let's add here after this let's add here a select control for the parent category so let's copy this and uh, paste here now change here the label and just write here parent category parent category okay and now just remove this and add here the select control select uh, class is equal to form control and wire wire colon model is equal to property name category id okay this one uh, a category id this one all right now add here the option value is equal to blank and set here the text none and after this add the for each for each uh, categories dollar categories as category okay and uh, now inside this for each just add here the option value is equal to double curly bracket dollar category arrow id okay and inside this option just print here the text so write a double curly bracket dollar category arrow name and now just close this option all right now save this file and uh, go to the class file and now inside the update, update category method uh, after this just write here first check here if dollar this arrow is category id is category id then uh, first fetch here the s is category subcategory so just write here subcategory column column find and just pass here the id so right here dollar this arrow is category id all right and now set here the is category name slug and category id so right here is category name is equal to dollar this arrow name and now let's copy this and paste here now change here the property and just write here slug and then category id category underscore id and now just call here the save method so right here dollar s category arrow save all right okay now inside the else part just cut this line and paste here all right now save this file now everything is done one more thing uh, inside this table let's add here a link for the edit subcategory so go to the admin uh, category component view file so just go inside the uh, resources directory then here uh, from here let's open this one admin category this one okay and uh, inside this subcategories uh, for each uh, just add here uh, edit link 
so inside this a line just write here first add here the anchor tag a href is equal to add here double curly bracket then route and inside this just add here the route name uh, admin admin dot edit category edit category okay and uh, now pass here uh, two parameter first parameter is category slug so right here category underscore slug then arrow dollar uh, category arrow slug and now pass here the subcategory slug so right here after comma uh, s category s category underscore slug arrow dollar s category arrow slug all right now just close this anchor tag and uh, inside this add here a font awesome icon for edit okay so right here i class is equal to f a f a does edit and now just close this category slug s yes, category slug okay now everything is done so save this file and let's check so switch to the browser and just refresh the page now you can see here the edit link okay so now let's let it uh, let's edit this one this subcategory laptop so just click on edit and you can see here the category name laptop and parent category electronics okay if i change here the category name uh, let's say the category name is desktop okay and parent uh, electronics okay now just click on update you can see here category has been updated now go back and uh, in next page you can see here the sub category has been updated okay now let's change here the parent category so just click on edit and this time i'm just going to select this one okay and now click on update updated all category and uh, you can see here the parent category of this subcategory has been changed okay now let's uh, edit again and set this electronics as a parent category now click on update updated all right so in this way you can edit subcategories so that's all about edit subcategories so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching